I'll go ahead and create a new mapping m underscore. Okay. File employee to target team employee HCD type, type one. Okay. Yeah. Now what we have to do? We need to import the source from the source. We need file. to import the source. So as we don't have any sources, sources. here with that structure, right? Yeah. With that structure, we don't have any source. So let's go ahead and then import the source so go here import from file and you have to select all files here because it is just checking for dot dat files now, now select this one. Type one you got it yeah so go here click on next okay what we have done here import the field names from the first line so we are telling in the first line Good. field names are there okay and yeah. then next here employee id okay employee yeah. id and then let's go ahead and then change it to finish so you have imported the source yeah now what we can do we can drag and drop that source, source. so we have here okay expand the source there you will have your source scd type one now we are reading this data, okay? We are reading this data. So what we thought we have to combine first name and last name, right? Yeah. First name and then last name. Let's go That's ahead and add the transformation. You can add it here or you can directly take it from here because already shortcuts are there. You can click on expression. Expression will come here. Select all the ports, drag and drop it here. Okay. Yeah. Drag and drop it here. What do you have to do? You have to combine the name. Word. We know, right? How to do it? Yeah. New First name. name and last name is input. So here, go ahead and add the new column. Employee name. Okay. Employee name. And then that's out. Thirty and size. And is it an input? No. Output. What do you have to do in the expression? You have to come by concat name. Concat. If you, you can use concat or you can use this two lines, right? This is kind oh, of yes. concatenation only. It will do the concatenation. You validate it. It is getting validated, right? Yeah. First name and last name. It is concatenating all of this. Whereas concat is accepting only two values. Here you can concatenate with anything, okay? By okay. using this symbol, okay? Yeah. Now it is validated. You have the employee name. Okay. Yeah. 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 Now what we have to do, if you see the data here, you have the dates as well. Higher date is there. Birth date is there. Everything is in DDMM YYY format, right? So yeah. let's try here. If you... Let me add the port here, okay? For birth date, let's see if it if we can try to convert it to some date because it is coming as a string, okay? You go to date, okay? Date. To care of date, trunk date of date, round of date, okay? Let's do it afterwards, okay? For now, let's go ahead and load as it is. Remove this new field. Okay. Remove this new field. Apply. Okay. Okay. Create and add target. Create and add target. Okay. Create and add target. Now you have added this target. Okay. What you have to do? You have employee ID, employee name, all the columns are there. Okay. It is an Oracle table. So go to target. Go to targets and then try to change the name. So what is their expression transformation? This is the target, right? So yeah. change it here, rename it, okay? CD. Team employee SCD type one. Okay. 
steroid type 1. And then you go to columns, everything is proper. Okay. Let's try to apply. Okay. Now go here. Here, uh -huh. rename it expression full name. Expression full name. Apply. Okay. Now, what do you have to do? Employee ID, employee. So you will connect it. So what it will happen? So if you are connecting employee ID, you will connect employee. all other columns. Okay. What it will do if you do this? It will get the, all, all the data like it will connect the full name. Yes. Yeah. So what it will do? It will go ahead and then insert the data into your table. What it will do? It will go ahead and insert the data into your table. But what you want? You have to check in the target before loading the data if it is already there. If it is there, update you have it. to update it. Otherwise, you have to insert it. How to do it? Update strategy. So you will use update strategy. So here, what you will write? You will write update or insert. Here we update. On basis of which you will update. First, you have to tell, right? You, have to, you should not blindly say like, I will go ahead and update it. So at the time, what will happen? Every time it will go and update the data. Update the data, yeah. So what you have to do first, Specify you have to check in the target. If we have to know here, what we have done in the Excel sheet, same thing you have to do in the informatic. Yeah, well. First, we have checked in the source, what we are getting yeah. employee ID one. We went ahead and checked it in the target table if employee ID one is there. If it is not there, we inserted it. If it is there, we updated it, right? So now, yeah. How to check the data on top of the target? Is there any transformation? Can go for lookup transformation so that it will get the data. Okay. It will get the data. So, which one is there? SRA type one. Okay. SRA type one table we want to look for. Yeah. We want to get the data from this table. Okay. You got the data now. On the basis of what you will check? Employee ID. Based on employee ID, you will check. So employee ID from source, it is coming from here into this expression, right? Yeah. So you will join with it. You will join or you will look up on that tar this employee ID. Okay. So yeah. this employee ID one is an input, right? This yeah. is an input. This employee ID one is this yeah. is target. All right. Yeah. This is the target employee. All these are target employees, tar target columns, right? All yeah. these are target columns. So let me rename all of them as TGT underscore. Okay. TGT underscore to identify the difference between to identify the difference between source columns source and target part. columns. Okay. Yeah. Source columns and then target columns. Now let's change it here. Okay. TGT underscore. First, you have to look up on the data. Then only you will be able to identify if the data is already there or not. It is there, what we will do? If it is there, what we will do? We will go Updated. ahead. Updated. 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 So we have renamed all of this. And if you go to condition, what we have to do? You have to write the condition based on which column you want to look up, right? Right. Yeah. So on target employee ID will be looked up on the employee ID that is coming from source. Yeah. Okay. Now yeah. you got it. What you have to do once you get the data, it has to be divided mm -hmm. into two sets, right? Yeah. One is insert set, one is one update set. So let's remove all these connections directly because you should not connect it directly. If you connect it directly, what will happen? So let's mm -hmm. go and insert it. Now how to identify? Whether this record is an insert or update, how will you update? How will you identify if it is already depth. there in the target? Okay, if it is already there in the target, then update. If it is not there, then insert. Okay, so yeah. if there is a match, if there is a match between these two, what will happen? It will target employee will come right. Yeah. So in case of left join, you you got it right. Whatever is there in the so if there is a match, you will get the record. If there is no match, you will get null. Yeah. Right. So 
So if there is yeah. no match, what will come in all these columns? Null value. Null value will come. If there is a yeah. match, what will happen? We get all the data. Target so data. All the data from the target. Matching. Right? Yes. Yeah. So now what you have to do? If it is null, if we target need. employee ID is null, what what does that mean? Okay. What does that mean? There is no update. There is no data, right? There is no data in the table. So what we are doing here, okay? We have taken source employee file, okay? We have taken, taken source employee file and target employee lookup, okay? Yeah. And then we are looking up, okay? Looking upon, we are joining, indirectly looking upon uh, yeah. a particular column in, column means joining on employee. Yeah. Joining on employee ID from source, target employee ID, right? In case of match, in case of match, what you get, what you get in target employee ID? Inserted it. You will get some value in target employee ID, right? Yeah. You will get some value will come in target employee ID, okay? Some yeah. value will come in target employee ID. In case of no match, Null value. Okay. You will get, okay. You will get null value in target employee ID. Right? Yeah. You will get null value in target employee ID. So here, let's add, if you want to divide the data into two sets, what you need to do? Router. Router you need to use. So if you go here, this is the router transformation. Add the router transformation. Okay. And yeah. Get all the data from your source, right? Yeah. Get all the data from yeah. your source and then push it to your uh, router because you want all this data to be inserted into target, right? And yeah. what is the other column? Let's get all the columns from target as well. Yeah. Okay, let's get all the columns from target as well. Now, here you have to identify two sets. Here, let's rename it router. Insert update. Okay. Insert update. And let's go ahead add two groups. One is insert group. Another Andrew. one is another Andrew. one is update group. Okay. When it is an insert, when it is when whenever there is no data in the target, then it is an insert. Right. So in case of no match, that means there is no data in the target. At that time, what you will get in the target employee ID? Null value. You will get null value. You will get null value. Null. So what you have to check here? You have to go to ports. You have to take target employee ID. You have to check if it is null. So what is the function we need to use? Is yes. null function. Is null function. Then what it will tell? The target employee so is values. only that data yeah. will go through this group. Correct? Yeah. Now validate it. Okay. Then press OK. Now for update, what will happen in the target employee ID? Update. Of. So in target update. employee ID, if you are getting some value means there is a match. In case of match, for yeah. example, first record is coming. You will check in the target if it is there. So one is there. One is matching with one. So you will get that value in the target employee ID. Okay? Yeah. Correct, right? Because that's how it will work, right? Because how lip join will work. In case of a match, it will give all the data from right. In case of no match, it will give null, right? So yeah. you're getting some value in the target employee ID means there is a match. Okay? There is a match. So how we are identifying there is no match, we are giving is, is null, of, right? Is null of yeah. target employee ID. So, there is a match means it is not null. It is yeah. not null. If it is null means there is no match. If it is not null means there is a match. Okay? Yeah. So value is coming means it is not null, right? So value is stay, uh, coming out of your target. Yeah. Correct? Validated. Yeah. Okay? Validated. Expression validated successfully. Yeah. Okay? Now, Let's press OK. Now you have two groups. One is insert group, one is update. Okay? Yeah. 
Now let's go ahead and then okay. insert the data. Insert the data into your target. So this is your insert group. These are your source columns. You have to link source columns, not target columns. Okay? Because what will happen if you insert target columns? We don't get the value, null values. Yeah, in case of uh, because in the insert you will have all null values. You will get you. It will insert only null values into your target. So you have to link all source columns here. Okay, and uh, rename it. Okay, rename it. Okay. Employee. Employee. Insert. Insert. Okay. Yeah. Apply. Now you need to have one more target to update the data, right? Yeah. One more target to update the data. So let's copy this. Okay. Let's copy this. Okay. Where it is, copy and then paste because you have to update it in the same target, right? Yeah. Update it in the same target. So we have taken this target. Okay. Let's marketize update. Let's marketize update. Okay. Apply it and then press OK. Let me arrange all iconic. It is getting confused. Okay. This is how you got it. Okay. This is insert. This is update target. This is update strategy. Now, can I link directly from router to this update uh, uh, this update target table? No. What will happen if you are linking directly? It will go and insert only. Right? Yes. Because that is the default operation. So what you have to do? You have to use update strategy. Okay. Update yes. strategy. So let's write it as okay. Update strategy. Okay. Update strategy as employee update. Okay. Employee yes. update. And in the properties, let's write. In the properties, let's write dd underscore update yes. that means it is an update correct yeah it's an update so here from which group we have to link it to this target this update strategy update, update. okay from update group we need to link it again source columns only we need to take we should not take the target columns because we whatever is coming from the source that's what you want to update right yeah. that's what you want to update and one more thing that we want to do here. Okay. Let's go ahead and create this target in the where we need to do that. Where we need yeah. to uh, create this in Oracle, we need to okay. create, right? So yeah. let me connect all of this. Okay. How to take the SQL script of this one? Go to uh, target. Go to targets. Okay. And then select this. Go to targets here, generate, generate index. Well, yeah. selected tables. Okay. Now, yeah. employee SCD1. Okay. Employee SCD1. Generate yeah. SQL file. It is successfully generated here. You can see the message. Okay. Yeah. Now, close it. Go to your uh, downloads. Here, you will have this. Open it. Okay. Open it in the notepad. Okay. Take this, take this, and then try to execute it in your database. Here, yeah, let me try to connect. Let me try to connect. And here, we have to add create date and update date, right? Update date. Create date, okay? Create date, okay? Date is there, our timestamp is there. Okay. Timestamp will come and then updated date. Okay. Update date. Then timestamp will come. Okay. Now let me execute this. So, what you have to do here in the designer? We don't have those two columns, right? Yeah. We need to change it to database. All right. Yeah. So, what you have to do here? We can add the post directly here if you want. Okay. What are the columns we have? Create date. Update it. We can add it like this as well. Okay. We can add it like this as well. So here, come here. What is the timestamp here? We have timestamp here, right? So we yeah. can go here and add the timestamp. 
it is getting added. Press apply. Okay. Now if you go to mapping, the two columns create date and update date. So yeah. in case of create, we have to add the create date. In case of update, we have to add the update date, right? Yeah. So that is nothing but system timestamp, right? Whatever the yeah. current timestamp is there, that's what you have to add. So where we can add the new columns? Expression. Expression. So already we have an expression. Let's not recreate one more expression. Let's go ahead and add it here only. Okay. Yeah. Current timestamp. Okay. So what it is? What is the data type for this? It is date time. Okay. Is it an input? No. So what is the function to store the timestamp? System date. What is the function? System timestamp will be there. So if you go to all functions, date. okay, then you will have okay, we have date. date. In date, you will have system timestamp. Where it is there? Here it is there. System timestamp. Press OK. Apply. OK. Now we have to drag this column to the next, right? To the router. Because we don't have this column in the router, right? Yeah. So let's add this column. Let's add this column. Okay. Column email address. Okay. Let's add it at the end. It is linking to this. Okay. I think it's better to add the port here. Okay. Add the port yeah. here. Then link it. What is that? Current. Current timestamp. Find date time. Now apply. Now you got the port. Okay. Yeah. Now you got the port. Link it here like this. Now it is linked. Right. Yeah. Now it is linked. Arrange all. So if you go in your router, you have that particular timestamp. What you have to do? You have to go to insert connect. and then connect this to target. Okay. So where we are, we are at the insert only. And then uh, add it to create date because we are, it is for the first time we are creating. So it will go and create okay. it and add this column into the update strategy as well from update strategy from which from which group it is coming update update so this is the update group so let me drag it from the update group so can i drag it from the insert group no so if i drag it what will happen it will give the ins uh, insert data it will add the column but it won't link it see here only from one group we can link it see I dragged it, right? So is it yeah. linked? The column came, but it is not linking, right? So yeah. what do you have to do? You have to do it from update only. So from one group only, you have to get all the data. You should not get it from multiple groups, okay? Yeah. And here, to which column we need to map? Update date. Update date. This is how you need to do it. Let's go ahead and arrange all of this. So what we have done, we got the data from source, okay? And then we have applied some law. Uh, we have added expression Report. to calculate the full Beautiful. name and also to add the current timestamp. And then we are looking up on the target. Okay. Let's change this transformation name as target. Okay. Look up. This is lookup, right? LKP. Then target DIM employee. Because this is DIM employee, right? So we are look. This is a lookup transformation, and we are looking upon the DIM employee as it is a target. We have added the target. Okay. So we are looking upon the target based on employee ID. So if employee ID is matching, then we'll insert it. So if employee ID is matching, then we will update it. If because if it is matching means not null. If it is not matching means what you will get from the right table? You'll get null. So null means there is no match. So you will insert it. Clear? Yeah. So let's go ahead and create the session okay. for it. Okay. Create the session for it. Save it. We need to save it. 
Oh, sorry. Let me save it. Let's go to repository. Save it. Now it is valid. Yes. Yeah. Now let's go ahead and connect to this. Let's open training. Okay. And now let's go ahead and create new workflow for SADs. Okay. There are yeah. three different because we have many work many sessions are created in the same workflow. So let me create another workflow. Okay. That's yeah. to SCD session. SCD sessions. Okay. Let's go ahead and create it. Okay. This was yeah. open. Now what I have to do? I have to take the session. Yeah, okay. Link SAD1. SAD. Here it is. Yeah. Okay. Now go here. Mapping. Source qualifier. Get. So file. Right. File. Yeah. After this output. And uh, you will have. Training. Training. We need to change the source. Training. File. We need to change. And also. And also, do we need to change anything? No. No. Okay. We have to add here. Okay. Yeah. Training slash. Back. What is the file name? We go here. Informatica is there. Okay. This is the yeah. file name. So, give the file name here. Dot CS. Dot CS. Go to target. Mm -hmm. Now you have two targets and you have to change it normal. To, to normal. Mm -hmm. And your target table name. What is the target table name here? Dim employee SCD type 1. SCD. If you go here and check the target table name here, what is coming? Dim employee mm -hmm. SCD type 1. So the same name is there. We need not to change anything. If you want to load it into some different table, then we need to give the table. We need to give the table name. Now it is not required. For update also, it is not required. Now go to target hookup. It is connected to which database? How to connect yeah. OT Sales Dev 2, right? Yeah. And see here, this one also connected to OT Sales Dev 2 only. Yeah. Apply. Okay. Now save it and then link it and then save it again valid now see the data in your table if you have any data no we need to don't have any data. The task. now we have to insert it okay now we have to insert it so let me shall i run the session yeah will it fail or will it succeed let me close it. it okay. I've, no, it... I've, I've closed the file just now. Okay, it is saying like it is already yeah. okay. This is target employee ID invalid identifier. Oh, sorry. Because, because, because what I have done here, I'm giving the name size target, right? I'm giving yeah. the name size target. What yeah. it will do? I have not given the query, right? I have not given yeah. the query. So what it will do? It will go and check for this column name check for this column name in which table dim employee SRE type one dim employee SRE type one right so yeah. check this column so do you do you have this column name here no no because we have added tgt underscore so how you can identify this so if you go to monitor it is saying target underscore employee ID invalid identifier. You can go and check in the session log, okay? It will try to read the data with that name, okay? Control F, yeah. okay? TGT underscore employee ID, right? So here, select for the lookup. This is the lookup query, right? So lookup query. Yeah. Lookup query, what you are getting? Select target. If you see here, this is the query it is generated. Select the data from this table with these column names. Do you have these names? This is wrong, right? You don't yeah. have these column names. So if you see, this error will come. So that's what it is giving. So what we have to do? We have to rename it properly, okay? Yeah. We have to name them in the other transformation only with some different name, not here, sorry. Okay? Yeah. 
here it will refer with this column names only in the you can do like this okay so if you are not writing any query you have to go like this okay if you are not you are not writing any query so automatically it is generating the query for you right automatically yeah. your informatica is generating this query so how it will generate it will generate based on the port names those are nothing but column names right so port yeah. names are these so it is generating with that so now i have changed it i have saved it okay refresh go ahead. then refresh mapping is refresh Controlling. started right. now come here it is running it is succeeded yeah. right you see here nine records came nine records were yeah. loaded to insert okay. nine records were loaded to insert because this is the first time we are loading right yeah first time we have got the data so is there any data in the target earlier no no data is there so that's the reason what happened it is directly really? going ahead and loading the data into your target right yeah so what you have here you got the data and update date is coming as null for all of this null yeah so let's go ahead and update some data in your file so let's do what do you do what do you want to do go ahead and update this 500 to 5000 or make it as 550 okay and change rob walters to okay robert robert walters okay robert walters and david bradley to david david brown let's make it as brown okay so what did we change we changed Man. david to david brown and this robert and then for robert only we changed it to 550 let's change for other one so that we can let's make it 350 okay yeah save it right yeah. you have to save it control s it is saved i'm closing it now what it needs to do if i run the mapping again it update the data it has to update the data go and start the task here and now see here how many records came out of it zero zero records why we are getting zero records here nine records we didn't insert now what we did it is not getting inserted it is not getting updated did we do any mistake in the mapping router now come here groups not is null of target employee id that's what we did okay whatever we are doing here target employee id billing date everything is fine let me just employee id billing date okay employee id billing date to target employee id everything is coming up proper then why it is not updating it why it is not updating it any idea go to session see the session properties data driven is there it is fine this is also fine data driven was there okay update the mapping okay insert let's make it as normal update made it as normal okay everything is proper only why it is not doing this target table name apply router this is also fine okay let me save it let's try to run it again or let's see i think i think let's see here it is not coming data it's okay if you see here nine records were rejected okay got it yeah. data came to update but these are getting rejected let's see why it is getting rejected okay yeah 
Yeah. You can see here, right? So we missed yeah. it. Not looking at the rejected record. So if you see in the rejected records, you can see, right? The yeah. data came to update, but it was rejected. It was rejected. Let's see what's the reason for rejection. So when you want to check for the rejected records, you have to check bad records. Okay. So no key was specified. No key was specified. So if there is no key, it will not be able to update because based on employee ID, how to update, right? You can't yeah. go ahead and update each and every record, right? Yeah. Now you got the first record. For example, if you go to your Excel sheet, what is happening? You are getting this first record. So you are comparing on first record. There is a match. It came to target. So in target, you have these many records. Okay, you have these many records. So it has to, which record it has to update? Which record it has to update? It has to go and update this record, huh? Yeah. But we are not providing any key. We are not providing any key. That's the reason it is saying like, what it is saying? Has no key specified. That's the reason it is moving it to bad records or it is rejecting the data. Okay? Because it will okay. not be able to update the data without any key. So what we have to do? You have to go to targets and then mark employee ID as primary key. Employee ID as primary key. Okay, employee ID as primary key. Now save it. Go to here mapping. Now it was marked as key, right? Yeah. So there is no change. Now go to workflow. Okay. Refresh map. Refresh mapping. Okay. Control okay. S. Now start the task. You see here, now nine records were updated. Yeah. Because you have to go to session log and then see what is the error. Okay. Yeah. Then you will be able to identify because it is saying like there is no key. So uh, there is no way for me to update the data. So that's how you will identify what's the issue and then you have to do the necessary changes. Now let's go ahead and see the data here. It got updated. Uh, what happened? Roberto, it came Robert as Robert, right? Roberto, yeah. it came. And then Robert David Walter. Brown also it came. Robert Walter. David Brown also it came. And 350 also it is changed. Yeah. And all of this data got updated. Update. And you got updated data as well. Clear? Yeah. Now, what we have to do, even though there is no change in the first record, it got updated. Yeah. Even though there is no change in other records, for example, Rob, it got updated, but it should not be, right? It should not be, right? So what we have to do, we have to check, we have to check, we have to compare again, source columns and target columns. Whenever there is a match, you have to compare. Okay, first name is matching with first name and last name is matching with last name. Higher date is matching with higher date and birth date is matching with birth date. All these things you need to check. Only in case of a change, it has to go and it has to go to update. Otherwise, it has to skip the record. Correct? Yeah. But what we are doing right now, we are checking only if, target, if it is there in the target. That's it. We are not checking for any other condition. Okay? We are not checking for any other condition. What we have to do here? Find. And what we have to compare? Employee name should not be equal to target employee name. Yeah. It's validated. It is validated, right? In case of employee ID is ma not matching, okay? Data should be there here. Not null means data present in target, right? Data present in target. Employee name not matching. And what are the other things we need to come check? Higher date, birth date. Higher date not equal to target higher date, right? Yeah. And? Birth date. Not equal to birth date. target birth date, right? Yeah. And email address not equal to Android. target email, email. address. And gender not equal to target gender. And salary 
not equal to target yes. salary. So what it will do only in case of a change, it will okay. go ahead and then update. update the data. In case of no change, it won't update the data. So let's do something, okay? Let's do something. Let's go here and then it will get open. Let's do some changes to the data. What changes you want to do? Tell me what changes you want to do. Like we can change the salary of David to. So. Okay, salary of David to what? What can I change? What do you want me to 6, change here? Yeah. Six thousand. Like Six thousand. Any other change you want to do for anyone? No, you can. Okay, only one record you want to change. Yeah. Okay, let's save it. I've saved it. I'm closing it. Let's go here to the workflow. Refresh the mapping because we we made changes to the mapping, right? Yeah. Take it and then right click, start task. Now go here. Let's see. What? How many records came here? Oh my God! You did not get anything. Update. Nothing was happened here, right? Nothing yeah. was happened here. We didn't, didn't save here? the mapping. Oh, save the sorry. Let's do something here. Groups. Okay. Groups. Let's. I think there is an issue with the groups only. Why it is not working here? Oh, sorry. Our condition is wrong. Okay. We are checking if everything should be not matching. Okay. Yeah. I. Our condition is wrong, sorry. Okay. If there is any change any in any of these columns, then we should update it, right? Because we are checking for our condition, and condition. That means we are checking there is a change in all the columns, not in one column, but we didn't do change in all the columns, right? Yeah. You got it? Yeah. Target. That's the reason you are not seeing any issue over there as well. Now we have these columns. So we are checking it is not null and there should be change in at least one of the column. Okay. When we are yeah. making it as and what will happen? It is looking for change in all the columns. Because there is no change in the employee name. There is no change in the email address. So if you are making it as and what will happen? It should be not equal to and email address also should be not equal to. Is that the case? No, right? It will fail. No. Fail means it is false. False means it will go, it, the record will not come out of your router. Okay. Control S. Now go to this. Refresh mapping. Control S. Now start task. Now see here. You'll get the record. Finally, you'll get the record out of it okay got the record you got it why it is happening because our logic yeah. is wrong because of that we did not get it now go and check here it got changed to six thousand yeah and only this record got updated see here 9 23 45 other records were updated in 9 4 all right only the updated yeah. data is getting updated here remaining data wherever there are no changes it is not getting updated clear yeah okay so small small mistakes we should not do it because session log won't give it because it is working as per the logic right because we are checking for yeah. the changes in all the columns not only one column right yeah. there is no change in all the columns there is only a change in the salary column because of that it is not coming out of your router and it is not going to your target update target. Okay. Yeah. Clear. Yeah. So what we did today, we have learned about SCD one. SCD one is nothing but. And inserting and updating the data. Yes. Insert or update. Absurd. You will say like update insert. Okay. You will call that as absurd. So in SCD one, what we'll do? Absurd. Absurd is nothing but either you will update or insert it. When you will update it. When there is an update in data. When there, is, when there is a data in the target, you will update it. When there is no data in the target, 
you will insert you will insert it for that what we have done we are reading data from the source and then expression we are calculating uh, full name and the timestamp and then we are looking up on the target based on employee id and in the router we are checking if there is a match on the target or not if there is a match then yes, we are checking again if there is a match and is there any change in any of the columns is there any change in any of the columns okay any of the columns not all the columns if you put and all the columns it will come so we are checking in there is a change in any of the columns if there is a change what we are doing we are updating it update if there is no record then we are directly inserting it clear any doubts no so small mistakes you will end up analyzing it for more time because you don't think like there will be some issue here right so we have yeah. to look each and everything and we wrote the logic wrong here by putting some and condition so and means it will look for all the conditions to be satisfied okay yeah. any doubts no